So Mike uh, said that he will give me $100 if I walk him through the steps of Tesseract. So I'm going to give him a call right now and uh, we're going to do it. So keep on recording, camera lady. And I'm going to call him and we're going to see what happens. Okay, dokie. Just got to type in his number. Call on Mike. Hello? Hey, Mike. Hey, Tyler. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you know, I've had a struggle, but I uh, appreciate your call back. Listen, uh, let's see. What, what, what is this we can I can stay on the phone here. All right, perfect. That would work great. Um... So I'm at your website, and what do you do? You want me to um, install Tesseract for you, or what? What was your overall goal? Okay, uh, I just want to. I'm primarily wanting a blog with the ability to have a, um, you know, the pictures like Tesseract Two, mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, the shopping cart so I can sell stuff. Right. And. Um, um, Let's see. I've got some, you know, some other pictures. I um, I did use your Unsplash to to download some nice scenes, nice. nice pictures. But I I can't seem to put them on in package that uh, I log on with you. Mm -hmm. Is there is there a way to do that? Yeah, definitely. So I will step you through all of that. And um, did you? I need to get a home up and running. Right. With, I, I had my website almost finished. I was two hours into your test rack one. Oh, okay. And then, and then when, uh, so I started to learn, you know, mm -hmm. getting some, I, I'm 85 years old and, and I, and I, I've never had a course in computer science. I, <laughs> I was on the faculty at USC for, you know, in the School of Medicine for 32 years. Oh, wow. My, my job was to I developed the database for, I designed the National Collaborative Study in 16 university hospitals, ran along with a medical doctor for a number of years, and we, so I had to manage all the, I was chief biostatistician, so I had to manage all the data. Mm -hmm. So I developed my own database and, uh, and you know, all my, uh, my data management systems and had three programmers working for me, so I never learned how to program. <laughs> But I pick up on this stuff pretty fast. Right. And I, if you get me going, I can handle it. All right, perfect. Um, I just wanted to know, like, what were you um, selling on your website? A book? Yeah, I've written two books and an audio book. And nice. I'm putting a lot of my... I've, I've done it in poetry. Okay, nice. And I, the, book, the book I just got is 250 pages long, and I get another one about 300 pages long right behind it. Okay, but, but some of it is in uh, I've my I'm, I'm putting it to music, right? And and the lyrics to music, and uh, I'm not a musician, but my nephew is. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so we're we're kind of collaborating on that, but uh, uh, then I'm I'm selling uh, picture frames and audio books and CDs and DVDs and that sort of thing. Yeah, nice. All right, so I'm gonna get you set up here. Um, right now, I'm I'm installing the Tesseract theme, and I'm recording it also at the same time. So, <laughs> so we have it we have it done, and if we go to visit site, okay, there's no title, so something's going on here. Did you already install the Tesseract theme? Yes, I I've. Uh Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And uh, so you'll probably self talking pretty quick here. Yeah. So we'll just see what's going on. All right. There's a page with no title. I see that, and you've uploaded some image to it. Okay. All right. Is it okay if I delete your pages, or 
did you want some no, of them? Absolutely. You do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to delete your pages so, just so we start off uh, fresh. So I'm going to yeah. delete both of them, and then I'm going to empty them from the trash. Okay, so I'm just walking you through what I'm doing right now. Okay, um, let's visit your site again. All right, so now we got the home page. And yeah. let's see if you have any plugins installed that could be conflicting. Beaver Builder. All right. So you're going to see this video all later, so I'm just going to talk through it. Um, okay. I'm just going to deactivate all of the plugins except for the Beaver Builder um, right now. Okay, and and I'm doing this just because uh, you don't want uh, plugins to conflict with anything. So you know, I couldn't, I couldn't pull that. Up. I couldn't. I, I, my my system wasn't syncing with hers, and it's probably fault. I know how to work it there. Right, right. No problem. It'll all get worked out real easily. What you're doing right now. Huh? I can understand what you're doing right now. Yeah. All right, cool. So we have most of that done. And let's see. Now we're going to make you a home page. So make you a home page I'm gonna make it full width yeah. and I, I couldn't get to that point where you are right now right so. all right so we'll go to the then we're gonna set the home page as the uh, main page yes so and you're gonna see all this in the video And then now I'm going to edit it with Page Builder to get um, a very cool um, page on here. So. Yeah, I understand that. All right. Let's just get a. Now I see. Okay. When, when I did that, I couldn't get the full page. I don't know why. Right. This is very interesting where the home is still staying up here. So um, I don't know exactly why that's happening. That's interesting. Maybe we have to update your WordPress. Well, it might be in the cache too. I don't know. You know. Hmm. That could be it. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. So it's not you know showing up exactly how I want it to. Right now, um, the home. If you refresh your page, you can see the home is still there on the home page, which I don't know why is happening. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the plugins and search for a plugin called um, WordPress Reset. Reset. And see if that helps. All right. Settings. All right, all reset. Did you WordPress reset? Yeah, I yeah I reset it, and that's something that's good to know. Yeah, exactly. And this is so strange because this typography is different than mine. It's yeah, very that's interesting. That's part of the reason. Yeah, it really seems uh, a little different. Okay, but we are going to work through it. And we're going to see if it works now. Okay. Just give me one second. Hmm. Alright. 
customize. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. It's very weird. Okay, so now it's working. Something from the previous tutorial was interfering with it. So yeah. now it's uh, working good. I did a WordPress reset, which you, you'll see in the in the video that I'm recording right now. Um, so I'm just going to put in something right here. All right, now if you refresh your uh, homepage, do you see that um, big big headline? Yeah, with the it says glacier snow. If you refresh your um, website, I'm not sure what you're talking about. If you go to uh, Mike Williamson LLC dot com, and um, okay. do you see the um, glacier snow? Do you see the big the big image? Uh, I mean, you could just, uh, yeah, re or refresh the one that you're on. Let's see, where I, uh, I've got it, I've, I've got it. Do you have your website up right now? Uh, 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 yeah, I do, but I've got to get in the right page. You want me to go to admin, right? No, 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 I just want you to go to the homepage. Just the regular homepage, just as if you're a customer. I just want to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, well, I can see your your uh, mouse moving uh, uh, on my site all the time. Uh, no, I think that might be the video, the YouTube video. No. It's, uh, aren't you out there? Okay, now, I've got a wholly different video here. Now... I'm going to go to the homepage. I'm looking at, at, at on my site where I am right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just at the www.mikewilliamson.com. I'm looking at glacier snow. Right. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. I just wanted to see if you're seeing what I'm seeing. And that is exactly what I'm seeing. Okay. All right. So what, you wanted a different picture there? Or what do you, what, how do you no, see? Okay, cool. But all I need is the home page and the about page, and I need a button that's going to allow me to, you know, to, uh, I want to be able to, to get a, uh, there's a video out there already that shows you to get a blog. I don't know if you're probably familiar with Michael, somebody. Oh, so you, you want a home page, an about page, and a blog? Is that what you said? Okay, so let me make your about page real quick. And go to the page. Let's see. You've got some buttons on here and I want to keep those two buttons. Oh, okay, on the on the top you like those. All right. Um okay, so we got a home and about and you want a blog. So Let's do that. New page blog publish. And now I'll have some. I'll have some under the glacier snow uh, caption there. I'm going to put some uh, taglines and an action line. Mm -hmm. I like. I like your idea, but I couldn't do that. I wasn't able to put anything on a on the on the picture. Couldn't put the words out there. I, I did on your first one, but I couldn't make it work on this one. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm recording it, and right now I'm adding a blog to your website, so you'll see that um, real quick. And um, let me go back to the home page and add something below it just to make sure that we can. Um, what What did you say you wanted? Some Some text under there or a quote? Uh, Right. And then you have, you have a tagline underneath. Oh, a tagline underneath. Okay, cool. And then down below that was an action. Oh, an action button. Got it. 
Okay, cool. So I will do that, and there we go. Do you want two buttons or just one button, one action oh, button? I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to have two buttons on that. Two buttons. Like Got it. Okay. If you refresh your page right now, you should be able to see that. Right, is that the type of main headline you want, and then the subheadline, and then the two yeah, buttons? Yeah, yeah, the two buttons. Okay. That looks like that's look like looks exactly like Tesseract one. Right. But but it's Tesseract two. It's just a way quicker way of making it. I just made that right now, and and you'll be able to see in the video. Okay. All right. So, um, I have your about page, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, is it? All right, that's pretty good. Uh, no, actually. Um, 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 uh, Once I get this basic stuff down, I, you know, I think. I think I can I can in, introduce new pages and uh, making page you know making new categories or whatever. Right. I, I don't think that's a, or new uh, pages on my like service page or a product page or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I do want to get a shopping cart out there. Okay, so let me do that next. Let me put in a shopping cart next. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through it in the in the video which you'll see later but basically you go to plugins and you add new and you search for WooCommerce now I'm not seeing your, your uh, I can't see your uh, screen your right I know I know I'm just I'm recording the screen right now and you'll and then I'll send it to you later so that you can review oh, okay. it okay. all right but I'm just talking through it right now so that when I do send it to you you'll be able to understand what's going on all right so it's a little confusing but I'll send you the the thing later um, okay so right now WooCommerce is asking me some questions like where you are from and I think you're from California right no I'm actually up in Portland Oregon Oregon okay I used to be in California but I moved up here two and a half years ago into Wilsonville Oregon Wilsonville Oregon I, 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 I kept my phone number 714, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. So... We used to live in San Diego for 16 years, but I also lived up, up in uh, the Pasadena area. Mm-hmm. That's when I was going to, when I was on the faculty at USC. Oh, got it. Nice. All right, so um, is it physical goods that you're going to be shipping, or just um, I'm sorry. Is it physical goods you're going to be shipping, or just digital stuff? Is it like, are you going to send things? No, it's going to be both. Okay. I mean, CDs, DVDs. I have a recorder, and I'm going to do some recording, uh, both uh, audio and video. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, then I'm going to be heavy at, have books, you know, to sit, be able to say, well, my books are on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and a bunch of other for, uh, publish on demand. Right. You know, they just go out to a lot of retail stores and so forth. Okay, cool. Um, do you uh, do you have PayPal, or how are you going to accept? Um, you know, PayPal would be, a, I don't have a PayPal account right now, but I want to set a PayPal account up. Okay, so you're going to need to set that up later. Okay, that, uh, I can pay you that way, right? I can just put 100 bucks over into the PayPal account and put it you know, under your whatever, and you can take it from there, right? Yeah. Product. I mean, uh, you have to set it up yourself and, and do all of that. So. Yeah, I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that. Test 
product. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, so right now um, what I'm recording on my screen is just showing you, and you're, you'll see it later, you can't see it now, but just showing you how to set up a product. Okay. All right, so. I think your system is absolutely fantastic. And you know, all of the, uh, the comments on, uh, I've, I've gotten discuss or whatever that is out there, I watch the comments that come through and people asking questions. Somebody over in the Netherlands who responds to all that. Oh yeah, Martin. He's a real, real, real nice guy. Yeah, but uh, they're all, you know, fives. They all give you fives, and, and so that's a pretty good indicator. Yeah, they're that's all... awesome. That makes me feel good about it. Yeah. Try to do something good. Um, okay, so I got your shop in there now, and um, now I just have to uh, change the menu. Hold on. One second. Oh. Customize. And you're going to see this video. It's all going to make more sense. Uh, the footer, the footer we, we probably need to do something down there on the footer. Oh, yeah, there. definitely. We'll put a different menu down there right now. And then the header. I started working with computers at UCLA in 1959. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> but I never, it was, USC didn't even have a computer at the time. That's crazy. That's cool. And, and, uh, but I had people with master's degrees in, in programming working for me. Yeah. I didn't have to learn pro uh, programming. But I've set up some websites. I've got some technologies that are really good, too, uh, for hiring people. I sent out a little survey, and, and I write mathematical equations that customize, uh, you know, the, the position people instead of getting 50% of, of people who are high performers or long tenure, they get 70 and 80% uh, high performers from one. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, right, so probably, I'll probably want to make a, 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 a subsidiary website one of these days after I learn how to do this. Mm -hmm. so, so that I can solve that technology as well online. Right. That's cool. Um, so let me, did you, um, if you look at your website right now, there's two buttons in the very top right. Did you want that there or? Um, yes. Okay. And did you want a shopping cart also there? Yeah. All right. And let's see, refresh this. Okay, it's looking a little funky. Um, customize. Mm. Oops. This is quite amazing. Thanks. I never expected to get this far. <laughs> All right. And then you had a logo, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I can take care of that, though. I know how to put the logo. Okay. Perfect. Good. Um, all right. Uh, let me show you just in the video. I'm going to send it to you later how to add uh, blog content. So um, you'll see it in the video. But you go to post, add new, and this is blog content. And now, another thing I want to be able to do is on my system, I have put about 10 or 12 
really nice pictures, and I've got them in a file on my computer, my C drive. Mm -hmm. But I need to be able to, to put them into that package that you know you log on to. Right. Uh, okay, that's easy. Um, we'll do that next. I'll show you how to do that next in the video, which I send to you later. Um, so I'm just showing you how to do blog right now, and this is the featured image. Sorry, you can't you can't see what I'm doing right now, but and then this is the blog content. Um, all right. So one more thing about the blog, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. But it's um, you are able to use the page builder to use your blog content but you have to go into the settings and change it which I'm doing right now um, and you'll be able to see that in the video when I send it to you alright so we just did it now if we visit your site then we can edit anything on the page builder um, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the video Right, yeah, that's a little confusing. So they're both page builders, but they're different. One of the, one of them is better, and I think the Beaver Builder is better. So um, it's a lot easier. Um, yeah. And so there's another thing on the blog. Um, it automatically allows people to comment. Do you want to keep that on or take yes, that off? I do. Okay. Uh, you so. put a max button down there, too. Oh, what? A max button you plug, want? The plug, plug in for max button. What was that all about? Oh, so that allows you just to just to put any custom buttons that you want. Like right now, I only have like uh, twelve buttons that I've made for my theme, but the max okay. button plugin allows you to, um, you you know, create your own buttons and use as many as you want. And I have a video on that on tyler.com slash videos if you want to check it out later. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. But, um, okay, so right now in the video I'm showing you how to set up the blog, but I'm just going to show you just in case you want to do it, um, how to take off comments. I know you don't want to, but just in case. You hit the screen options and you click discussion and you check this off right here. And you'll see it in the video. All right. Um, next, you wanted to see how to put in your own uh, images, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, show you with the main homepage um, how to swap out that image, and it's the same way um, of how you import your images. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so you click on Page Builder, and then you go over where this row is right here and you press the wrench and you'll be you'll be able to see this and then you select photo and you can upload any photo you want so you'll be able to see this sorry I know it's really really confusing when you're not seeing it right now but um, you will be able to in a little while when I send you this video okay so And then to change the text, I'm going to show you how to do that right now uh, in the video. So, okay. Just go like this. I'm looking, I'm looking at Mount Hood out there right now. Uh, yeah, so that's so I just changed that. So to change the text, you go here and change it. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Yeah. I, I like those kinds of scenes, and I... Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? That's what like um, professional websites do, like Apple and and Uber, yeah. and you know they make it really just very cool. Well, I, I sure saw the contrast. I mean, it, it just uh, it it, uh, it speaks with a loud voice. Yeah. It, I mean, it tells it, it, it discriminates between the the good and the bad. I guess. You could say. Right. Exactly. 
Um, so another thing that you're gonna need to do is um, you're gonna need to set up your PayPal. So you're gonna need to go to paypal.com and set all that up. Um, okay. And let me show you where to do that and I'm gonna show you in the video. So once you go to paypal.com, you you know fill out the forms or whatever. And then after you do that, you go into the back end here, which I'm showing you in the video, um, and you go to settings, and you go to one of these things. Yeah, you click on checkout, and then you click on PayPal, and you enter in all your information. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that, and I'll send you the video and, and show you that. Was there anything else that you wanted to know how to do or change? Do you know how to change the links to the buttons on the on the very top, right? Uh, links to the buttons? I mean, the where it says primary and secondary on the very top right of your website. No, probably not. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Um, and I'm showing you in the video, so you're not gonna be able to see right now. So you just go to customize and header options and header right block content. And then you'll see all this code and where it says href equals and in quotes, you change this to whatever link you want to be. Oh, okay, cool. And you'll really understand when you see the video. <laughs> so okay. that's it's that. Logical, it's logical, and I've been through that once with you. Oh, I'm right. Uh, did fine. you want to change the colors of your website, or you know how to do all that stuff? I, I can handle that, yeah. Okay. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to see I how to do? I can't think of anything right now. There may be as time goes on, and then I'm sure... Right. Oh, let me give you the unbranding plugin for free. Uh, let me just upload that for you. I have it right here on my desktop. Oh yeah, that's that's that is another thing. <laughs> the the, I've been the unbranding will allow me put uh, the footer put uh, my copyright on the footer. Right? right, whatever you want. So I think I have it here on my desktop. I've kind of reviewed that once. Yeah. Um, there it is. Open, install. Well, I sure appreciate this, Tyler. Um, man, I've been I've been knocking my head against the wall for a long time. <laughs> no problem. Um, when synchronized, well, my system and your system, and I think that my my problem. And that's weird, and I think that's because you followed the old tutorial and then you want to do the new one but some things weren't you know jiving together um let's see right more about content okay let me put in your website here instead of mine and then let me put in your name instead of mine oh mike Mm. Let me get you a copyright symbol, right? Copyright Mike Williamson. Uh, copyright Mike Williamson LLC. There you go. Okay, good. Copyright Mike Williamson LLC. Copyright. Space. Sometimes I put on that line my email address. Uh, it's probably elsewhere in the in the system somewhere. So. Yeah, maybe you'll maybe you'll put that on the about page or something. I don't think it's gonna fit. Um, no, and I've already got it on the top page, uh, right up at the top. Anyways, don't, right. don't worry about that. Okay. So just they all oh, answer. You might, you know, that's, Yeah. Oh, your email's not at the top anymore. I don't think. So. I mean, you could put that instead of the top buttons or something else, but I don't think it'll fit. But you could just put that on the about page, or you could make a contact page. Okay. 
All right. Huh? Oh, did you did you want a contact form? I could put that in there. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be. Oh yeah, I do need that. I okay. Need that. All right. Cool. So let me make that for you right now. Contact. Okay, I'm not worried about it. Um, well, I, w I want to make sure that that PayPal works, so I'm going to do it through the PayPal. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to add you a different plugin, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. And this is called Contact Form Seven, and okay. and you know what plugins do, right? Oh, it's already installed. Yeah. Okay, so. You've already installed this plugin, so <laughs> you definitely know what it does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're just going to do that, and then we go to contact, and we copy this. And pages, contact. You didn't want your address on there or a map or anything on the contact form? Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, well, you know. No, I, don't, I just do not have my location, exact location on my contact form. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I, I live in Wilsonville and that's enough, you know. Yeah. If, if I want to give my, my address out, I will. <laughs> Whenever. Okay, cool. But I need to control that. Right, right, right. Um, all right, cool. I'm just going to add a simple contact form and. Oops. You'll be able to change that later. And what you do is you paste in the uh, short code. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. Yeah. All right. Um, once we got an action step uh, location. Hold on one second. Let me add in the contact form to the menu. Um, sorry, what was that? We got in what? That action step. You know, uh, there's a, there was a on your explore. You had an explore and a tagline. And two buttons, and then at the bottom there was an action action step. Mm, what do you mean by that? An action step. Well, uh, when you were demonstrating the uh, apple, you said logo. Oh, oh, yeah, a call to action, right? Action, yeah. Right. So the the headline is the explore, and the call to action is everything, and do what you love. So you'd put your call to action there. And the and so yeah, that's what it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I put it in a contact form, and I know that image on the top is really ugly, um, but you can change the images, which I showed you how to do um, in the video. And let me make that smaller for you. Fifty. Alrighty, alrighty. So, um, I th can you think of anything else? No, I can't right now, and I sure appreciate it. Tyler, you've been just super. Thank you. Um, let me see if this product works for you. Let me actually put in a number and see if I get anything in the cart. Um, okay. let's be regular price, fifty dollars. All right, update. Product. Add to cart. There we go. All right, yeah, it adds to cart. Great. And, oh, actually, let me make your cart full width, and you'll see what I'm talking about when you're in the video. Okay, edit page.
play around with it and, and probably have a question or two, you know. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right, it's looking pretty darn good. Um, so, yeah, now you can add things to the cart and you can check out. Uh, I mean, you'll be able to check out once you put in your, your PayPal email, which I show you where to do that in the video. And everything is looking pretty darn good. Now, then, if I have a book or a product uh, and somebody, somebody logged in on my site and they, and they buy a book, that would be... I mean, I, I can I can illustrate those or talk about them, and they can purchase them right online, right? Right, exactly. So that you just they'd hit the shop button, and if you do that right now, I put up a, a test. Do you see that shop button on the top of your website? Uh, I oh, I have a con content box. I don't see any. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so click on that. And so that would be like your um, your book. It didn't, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Did you refresh your page? Um, no, it didn't. Oh, well, let's see. What have I got here? Really? Are you on the video or are you? No, uh, let's see. I'm on. I just am on my regular. Uh, I'm on. No, I'm not on video. Okay, you're on Mike Williamson LLC dot com. That's right. And you clicked on shop, and it's not working, or contact, and it's not working, or. Well, there, there goes I. I see a little Huh? Yeah, that's not that's not my daughter. Um, a, little girl. a little girl, right? And then so that would essentially be your book or your DVD or whatever, and you can add that to the cart. Okay. Okay. Good. And and once you add it to the cart, you know, then people can check out and pay for it. Okay. All these uh, buttons are working. Good. Nice. Primary and secondary buttons are right. They're they're blank. I did I didn't know what pages you wanted to set those right. up as. Right, but but everything. everything. Oh yeah, this this is beautiful. Thank man, you. That, oh man, that is good. that is so good. I am just thrilled. With it. Really. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna send you this video, and you're gonna know how to add products, you're going to know how to um, add stuff to your blog, you're going to know how to um, set up your, your shopping cart for, uh, you know, put in your PayPal address, you're going to know how to change images, um, it's all in the video that I'm going to send okay. you. Fantastic. All right, Mike. So much, sure thing. I'll send this video to you in about uh, either first thing tomorrow, it's kind of late, or um, later tonight, okay. if I'm up to it. Okay. All right, thanks, Mike. Alright, bye.